This video assumes that you have watched the playlist, the quick start playlist. It shows you how to set up a company in Manager IO. There are eight videos. Most of them are less than three minutes. If you have not, I will leave a link to the category playlist below. Or you have a working knowledge of how to use Manager IO. If you do not, I recommend you watch the, the playlist first before watching this video. And again, I will leave a link in the description and pinned comments below. In this video, we will customize the chart of accounts for Sally's florist. We will set up the chart of accounts for a typical sole proprietor florist. This is going, not going to be an exhaustive list, but for the purposes of this video, it will suffice. We will rename some existing accounts created by Manager IO. And as you can see here, most of these accounts, well, pretty much everything except for the credit cards account. We did that in an earlier video. That's a control account. Uh, we did that, but the rest of these have been set up by Manager IO automatically. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename some. We might re remove some. We're going to create a new account group and some new accounts under that group. And, by com and we're going to create some new control accounts. By completing this, these steps, we're going to be able to change this whole dashboard outlook to something that's going to be easier to, to quickly gather information about balances associated with accounts. So the first thing we want to do, let's go in here and just look. How do we even get here to these chart of accounts? Well, you go to settings, chart of accounts. Everything we looked at under the summary tab, which is your dashboard, is listed here. Now let's look see if there's something we can rename here. Well Sally's probably not going to make any donations right now anyway so we're going to rename this. I don't see an office supplies account here so we'll just rename that one and make it our office supplies. And you'll notice on the profit loss statement you have this options expense or income we're going to leave it as an expense. And all this is done on the expense side of things. And now let's see if there's something. Let's say she, Sally may not be interested in entertainment right now. We can get rid of this account. So we're just going to go here and delete that account. Now if there's transactions in the account, it would show up at this moment. And you can go deal with that transaction. Move it to another account or whatever. Because it's not going to let you delete an account if there's already transaction associated with it. But we're going to go ahead and delete this because there's nothing associated with it. So there, we, we have that done. Now, let's set up some chart of accounts that aren't listed here that would be typical for a florist. First one we want to do is we're going to do a cost of goods. Now, cost of goods is floral inventory, uh, flowers, plants, vases, uh, supplies, floral foam, ribbons, wrapping materials, wire, etc. And freight in. So she may have semi-trucks of flowers and plants and whatnot coming from nurseries. So we're going to have three accounts listed under cost of goods sold. So the first thing I want to do is because we're going to have some nested accounts is we're going to create a new group. And we're going to call this cost of goods sold. And from the drop down we're going to select expense group and we're going to create. Now we have it here and if you look here you'll see it's above the income column and I think it should be either above the expense column or right below the expense column and right before the net profit. So I'm thinking uh, right above the expense column would be a good spot. So how do we do that? Well, we go to settings, chart of accounts. Well, we're going to find the account and you'll see the little blue up and down arrow next to it. And that's exactly what it means, moving this account up and down. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to move cost of goods sold to right right above expenses Oops. right above expenses and if we go look 
we see we have moved it here and put it in its proper place. Now, for cost of goods sold, we want three accounts nested under it. Floral inventory, supplies, and freight in. So again, we're going to go to settings, chart of accounts, and we're going to create a new account. We're making sure we're on the expense side. This is the asset and liability side and equity side. We want to make sure we're on the expense side doing this. We're going to create a new account. And we're going to call this floral inventory. And on the profit and loss statement, we're going to put it under cost of goods sold. We're going to leave as operating, leave the cash flow statement as operating activities. And we're going to go ahead and create. Let's create us one more. And we're going to call this floral supplies. Differentiating this from regular office supplies. We're going to put it under cost of goods sold and we're going to create one more it's going to be freight in new account and we're going to put this under cost of goods sold so if we go back to our dashboard you'll see we now have these three accounts nested under cost of goods sold As far as the rest of it, I think uh, you could do whatever you want here. Let me see. Let me think of what we might need for what's coming up in these videos in the future. How about licenses and permits? We'll make one for that. Licenses and permits. And we'll go settings, chart of accounts. And this is just going to be simply a new expense account. And we're going to call it that. Licenses and Permits. We're going to come down here. And where's it at? We're going to, it's right here under Uncategorized. Let's delete this. Oh, I see what happened. Alright, so you just caught me making a mistake, so let's put this under expenses and update. And there we go. <laughs> so that's what happens whenever you don't list the account. I'm glad I did that just so if you run into the same problem. If you forget to add an account to that, it's going to just create something new called uncategorized and throw it up under there. So there, there's an example when you mess up, that's probably what you're looking at. All right, so we have chart of accounts now. We have some new chart of accounts. We went through that. Now, let's look at our dashboard again. This is our dashboard. And I want to do, I want to create a couple other accounts real quick. So we're going to create a new bank account. This is going to be Sally Savings account. So let's go ahead and Sally Savings account. And we're just going to leave it as the default cash and equivalents. And we're going to, you could leave, put a code there if you wanted, but we're just going to do that. And we're going to go back here. And you'll notice cash and equivalents. In order to see what this pertains to, we have to click here. And we've got Sally's bank account. And I'm going to go make an edit real quick. We're going to edit this. We're going to call the Sally's checking account. Ah, can't spell. So this is Sally's checking account. And you'll notice when we click on this, all we see is Sally's checking accounts because there's money in there. We don't have any money in Sally's savings account yet. So let's put some money in there. And in order to do that, let's make this an owner's contribution. We're going to click on receipts and uh, click a new receipt. And contact's going to be other. And we're just going to leave Sally there. And we're going to go to Sally Savings Account. And under account here where it says suspense, we're going to do owner's equity like we did earlier. 
and the, and the capital count something we set up in another video sally and and uh it's going to be funds contributed as the sub account now let's go ahead and put ten thousand in there so she has now got ten thousand in there we're going to create we see it right there capital counts we see her sally's capital account has fifteen thousand dollars in it right and you can see the transactions by simply clicking on that hyperlink. And now we see cash and equivalents. We have 15,000. And if we were to click on that, we see 10 in one, five in the other, right? And, list it. and, and this is important because you're not seeing them separately right here. It would be nice to have that, right? But before we do that, let's go ahead and set up a credit card account, another one, a second one, so we can do something similar with it. So banking cash account you'll notice we have Sally's visa so let's uh let's make Sally's MasterCard so and we're going to go the control account is going to be credit cards we did that in an earlier video so we're going to create and if we go to uh, the summary we'll see credit cards is 50 we click on here we only have Sally's visa and it's because there's no balance, there's no money in, been used on the, uh, the, the MasterCard. So we're going to go, we're going to go to uh, settings, and we're going to do a starting balance or an opening balance. We're going to click on bank of cash accounts. And let's say Sally had used her MasterCard before she even got to this point to make some business purchases of some sort. So we're going to do a new starting balance. And this is going to be Sally's MasterCard. If you watched the previous videos, you know this is a very important step to enter a negative balance rather than a positive balance so it's not considered an overpayment. So we're going to put a negative 100 in here. And we're going to create. And if we go to the summary and we look at the credit card balances, we now know we have a $150 balance that we owe. Uh, it's credits. It would be 100 for the MasterCard, 50 for the Visa from a prior video. Well, here's the issue. We see that we have 15000 in our bank accounts. We have $150 due in our credit card accounts, but we don't know, just at a quick glance, what accounts have the money in them or owed to them. So we got to do a lot of clicking around to see what that's all about, right? See what has what in it. So we're going to solve this problem. So what can we do about this? Well, we can create control accounts to resolve this problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and control accounts, bank of cash accounts, and we'll create a new control account. And we're going to call this business checking account and balance sheet we're going to put as asset and we're going to create and then we're going to create another one business savings account again the asset is going to be balance sheet is going to be assets and then we're going to create uh, MasterCard balance sheet this one's going to be liabilities let's create the visa balance sheet liabilities create let's rename this visa one to capital one visa so we'll know which which one just in case we have multiple and we're going to rename the mastercard to bank of america So now, as you see, we have all these listed here, but we don't have the proper account balances for each one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Bank of Cash Accounts, and we're going to go to Sally's Checking Account. And we're going to pick the Control Account. This is going to be the Business Checking Account. We're going to update, and then we're going to go to Sally's Savings Account, pick the Control Account, and it's going to be Business Savings. 
and we're going to go to Sally's Visa, and we're going to pick the control account. That's going to be Capital One Visa, and we're going to go to Sally's Mastercard. Pick the control account. It's going to be Bank of America Mastercard. We're going to update. Now, when we go look, we get it at a quick glance. We know what accounts got what money in it, and what account credit card accounts are owed what money right here. So now we no longer need the credit cards control account because we're listing these individually. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to control accounts, bank and cash accounts. We're going to edit the credit card one and we're going to delete it. And we're going to go back and look and you see it's gone now. And there we now have a new dashboard set up and we see how we do our chart of accounts and how we get our other accounts to display the money properly. And we will work on these accounts, making payments, buying stuff, and things like that in later videos. So if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment. You will really help this channel out, and I need all the help I can get. And I'm going to thank you in advance. You have a good day.